welcome to the Creative Thank Arts Emmys. Thank you very Emmys. much. How does it feel to be a nominee for animated programs? It feels fantastic. You know, uh, I've worked in animation for a while, and working on this particular show, Mad, it's in its third season, and yet we got our first nomination, and so I couldn't be happier. What do you think has um, kind of taken the, the Academy to recognize your work? How, you know, what have you done differently over the past You know, it's years? not that we're doing anything differently. Sometimes it takes the culture just a little while to catch up. You know, not even catch up, but our lives are so busy. You can see these shows in so many formats, television, online, you know. So it just takes a while sometimes for people to realize, oh, wait, I like this show. And so, hey, I'm... I'm the fact that we were nominated is enough. It doesn't matter when it came. <laughs> and it's also appropriate because this is Mad Magazine's 60th anniversary, so maybe they were waiting for the right time. Are you guys integrating, doing a lot of interactive We media? talk all the time. Yeah, we have uh, similar artists like Sergio Aragones, who's a legendary artist for Mad Magazine, also draws for us. And we talk with the magazine guys all the time. So, yeah, it is a nice, happy family. And let me ask you this, especially with the history of the magazine. Mm -hmm. Have you tried to incorporate a style or a look that's totally. reminiscent? Totally. The whole look of, of our show show is very paper related as if you're reading a magazine there are rips there are page turns oh. and like I said we have Sergio doing his things which is iconic he would do those border drawings we do the same thing on our show and we've got great artists like Tom Richmond from the magazine who who do the movie parodies TV parodies all just like you're reading the magazine but it actually comes to life for you oh, cool.